Victor Hugo Zayas' paintings. In Los Angeles, Victor Hugo Zayas continued to paint the cityscape and its elements, subtly softening the hard lines of inelegant buildings and studying the modifying effect of polluted air on the hyperlucidity of the desert sun. By 1993, however, these urban views could not only stand on their own, but could function as window-filling backdrops to studio scenes, a model striking a pose, for instance, or a simple interior still life with a not-so-still life of metropolitan bustle seen at a distance. Such renditions of interior spaces, and especially of figure and still life subjects, had been uncharacteristic of Zayas until then. By this time, Zayas had compiled an intriguing and impressive body of work by rendering contemporary subject matter in a not very contemporary manner of painting. In subsequent still lifes, he paid oblique homage to those modern painters, Soutine, Noldi, Corinth, Munch, Van Gogh, even Monticelli, Courbet, and early Cezanne, whose expressionistic approaches prefigure his own. These still lifes, mostly individual flower bouquets and vases, fairly explode with vigorous brushstrokes and deep, intensely contrasted color. It is important to note, however, that like the aforementioned modernists, and in contrast to others like Gualt, Kirchner, or Hartley, these paintings are grounded in naturalistic observation and rendering.